What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian, man, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. We talk about fragrances and fashion on this channel. So if you're into fragrances as well as fashion, then I recommend or suggest you hit the subscribe button and also make sure you hit the bell icon as well to get notified when I upload new content on the channel. Hey guys, you saw my intro and uh, we're still in this phase right now where we're doing this limited time offer for my fragrances. If you have not picked those up yet, which is Obad, and serenade go over to novices.parfums.com go over to novices.parfums.com right now and make sure you go ahead and grab those bottles while you can get buy one get one for free or you can just buy one at 30 percent off guys i would really appreciate the support and i appreciate the support of everybody that has purchased those fragrances thus far all right guys so you see the title of today's video we're going to be giving a, a full review of the new fragrance from the house of christian dior which is savage elixir if you guys did not see my first impressions of this fragrance, I will make sure I link it uh, up here or either down in the description so you can check out my first impressions. But I have had a chance to wear this now, so I want to come and give a full review, as promised, of this new fragrance release. So if you want to hear the full review of the newest release from the house of Christian Dior, which is Savage Elixir, then you know the routine, man. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in, man. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the review of Savage Elixir. Now, I did this on the uh, my initial impressions, but I will show you once again, for those of you that did not see it, this is the presentation. This is what the box looks like on this fragrance. Now, this comes in a, uh, in a two ounce, two, two ounce bottle. So there is, from what I understand, no other size. So this is gonna be, from what I understand, the only size, at least on the initial release. I don't know if they'll go back and uh, do a different size or not, but that's the size. And this is the bottle. So again, compared to the other fragrances um, that I have from this particular line, this is a small bottle, okay? I like to do the three ounce bottle, 3.4 ounce bottles, and this is only comes in this two ounce 60 ml, and it retails for $155. Now, I will say off top to me, that's gonna be, although this is a very popular fragrance line, and I'm sure it's gonna do well, for me, I think that would be the only issue for a lot of people. You're only getting two ounces for $155. And in most cases, I don't care what it smells like, that's not really a good, value proposition for only two ounces but we will see how it goes now of course the first thing you notice on this bottle and i'll show you again is it's a little bit different as far as the present presentation from the other iterations of this fragrance you have that kind of square center and then you have the name of the fragrance that's sitting there so that's something that's different um, from the other uh iterations of this fragrance that was released before this now this is a parfum concentration it is a parfum concentration, and I'll get into uh, how that affects the fragrance as far as the performance or how it relates to the fragrance and the performance as I get into the review. But I just wanted to, of course, give you guys a quick overall 
presentation of what this thing looks like. But now I'm gonna get into a little bit more now about the actual fragrance and what it smells like. All right, so when I did my initial impressions, I talked about some of the notes that I felt like I was able to pick up in this, in this particular fragrance. And when you first spray this fragrance right off the bat, when you put it on your skin, you are going to be hit by three notes. That is cinnamon to my nose. Although it says spices, they don't list the specific spices, but it, I feel like it's definitely cinnamon. You get some lavender and you get black pepper. This is a very, very peppery uh, fragrance when it opens up. And that's something that you got from the original uh, Savage. I remember when I first sprayed that and how spicy it was. It almost, bur <laughs> almost burned my nose hair when I first smelled the original Savage. It had that fresh and clean nature, but you got hit with spices off the top. And this is a very spicy fragrance for about the first five minutes. Now, after the first five minutes, the peppery vibe that you get from this fragrance starts to kind of die down, but you can detect it as you start to enter into the heart of the scent. So it's still there, it just kind of lays uh, closer to the background. Now, what doesn't go to the background is the lavender. This fragrance is very, very heavy on the lavender. So for folks that sometimes find fragrances that have lavender challenging, I'm not sure if you're gonna be the biggest fan of this, but lavender is very prominent, uh, pretty much to my nose throughout the life of this one. Also, we talk about the, the warm spices. That's another element of this fragrance that you're gonna really be able to detect. Well, most people will probably be able to detect uh, the, that very warm spiciness uh, that you get in this fragrance. And again, I know cinnamon, but I also feel like uh, there's some nutmeg in here as well. And the reason I'm saying that uh, I feel like it because at this point, like I told you guys before, I think that the sales, the sales associate sold me this fragrance early because from everything else I'm seeing online, this is not supposed to be released until uh, mid-August um, at the earliest. And I bought this at the end of July. So it is what it is, I have it. But with that being said, there's not a lot of notes right now that are listed for this scent. Now, that could remain that way. You know, sometimes I think uh, when a fragrance house comes out with a very popular fragrance, so that maybe people don't try to copy the DNA or whatever the case may be, it seems like they hold back on some of the notes that's actually included in the fragrance. Although most companies do that anyway, they hold out on some of them, but they only really have three notes or chords that are listed in this fragrance, which are warm spices, lavender, and sandalwood. So right now you really have to, outside of that, really depend on your nose and again it could it could stay that way those may be the only notes or chords that they actually list for this fragrance but again definitely get the lavender in the, op in the opening the black pepper as well as warm a warm spicy vibe which i think comes from a combination of cinnamon as well as nutmeg now just to give you guys a point of reference now i'm not saying that this is of course at all a clone at all but what this fragrance really reminds me of if you take 20 percent of the original dior survives again so because you got that kind of spicy black peppery thing uh, that you got in the original survives and you combine that with this fragrance right here which is burberry london that will give you an idea of what this smells like just to be very practical about it so you take the original dior survives and you take probably about 50 percent of this and that'll give you a really good idea of what this thing really starts to smell like. Because when you think about the note breakdown in this fragrance right here, you have lavender, you have bergamot, you have leather in this, you have tobacco, uh, mimosa, and uh, you got that cinnamon, very prominent note of cinnamon. Now again, they don't smell exactly alike, but I will tell you, that's what you, the kind of vibes you get from this fragrance. The same kind of vibes you get from this one right here, Burberry London. Just like Burberry London, when I spray this fragrance, it really gives me that kind of holiday feel. That's something that you'll hear a lot of people talk about when they talk about Burberry London. You know, that whole cinnamon, warm cinnamon uh, vibe that you get from this, the mimosa, and how a lot of people wear this fragrance, Burberry London, around the holidays because it kind of gives you that Christmassy uh, vibe. That's the same thing you get from uh, Savage Elixir. It gives you that really kind of holiday 
Christmas vibe again with 20% uh, of the original Dior Sauvage. As the fragrance really starts to really dry down, you still get the lavender, you still get the spices, the warm spices, the cinnamon, and you also start to get a nice, really creamy sandalwood that comes into play. So you do pick up some sandalwood, and I think there may be even some cedarwood in this as well. That's what my nose is picking up, because that cedarwood, you know, with cedarwood is more dry, get more of a dry woody vibe and i get some of that as this fragrance really enters into the dry down dry down um so you start to pick up some of the the woods when it dries down so you still get you know again the cinnamon and the warm spices you still get the lavender and you get a nice warm woody backbone as it starts to really dry down now they don't list tonka bean as a note in this but there's something really sweet in this one as well it smells like tonka bean to my nose uh, but it's a really, really nice blend, man. Of course, at 155 bucks, and this is Dior, the House of Dior, it's a well-done fragrance. Again, I'm just not sure if most people are going to feel like for two ounces that is worth $155. Now, as far as the overall performance on this fragrance, it projects really well, although it's a parfum concentration, which normally sits really close to the skin. It does project really well for the first two and a half hours. The first two and a half hours, you're gonna be able to really pick it up effortlessly in that first two and a half hours or so. Now at that point, it really, it did start to sit a lot closer to my skin, but as far as overall longevity, I was able to pick this up between the seven and a half to maybe the eight and a half hour mark. So it does perform well. So it is gonna perform, but again, just with, you know, the price, Proposition 155 bucks for only two ounces. Again, I, I will continue to say I'm not really sure how folks are going to feel about that. Uh, but of course, I wanted to make sure that I went on ahead and purchased it because I know this is something that a lot of you will be interested in and give you guys my overall impressions on it so that maybe it can kind of help you, you know, when it comes out to, uh, or even before it comes out to kind of start to formulate in your mind is something that you may want to invest in yourself. Now, as far as seasons, of course, this really could be a signature scent, but I will say, as I said before, I think the fall winter season will probably be the best for this kind of fragrance, just based on the way that it's structured, really warm, really, really spicy, not a lot of citruses or of course anything really aquatic going on with this scent. So with that being said, I think that those seasons will really, really work well uh, for this fragrance and of course falls are right right around the corner So I think it was the perfect time for them to release this fragrance because um, This time of year uh, Fall winter is going to be the best time in my opinion to rock this scent oh, Although you could wear it really when you wanted to but I think those two seasons would definitely be uh, the primary uh, two seasons for it But guys overall just to let you know it smells great. It smells great uh, It performs well it, there's this hint again about a 20% that's going to remind you of the original uh, Dior Sauvage, but after that, it kind of goes in a totally different direction. Again, more in a direction of a something like a Burberry London. My only issue with it, again, is the $155 for two ounces. Uh, I'm sure not everyone is going to be a fan of, of the value proposition from that standpoint. But of course, it's Dior Sauvage in a, or iteration or an extension of the original Dior Sauvage, so it's going to smell good. It's from the house of Christian Dior, but... Again, I think that's a bit much for only two ounces. But overall, guys, that's it. That's my time. I just wanted to give you a more in-depth review than I've had now that I've had a chance to wear this fragrance of the newest release from the house of Christian Dior, which is Sauvage Elixir. As always, I appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, it could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget, guys, to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and share these videos out to some folks that you think can use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your guy, the bow tie fragrance guy. I love to look good and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.